J.D. Vance's ascension to the ticket is somewhat uh, personal for me. I grew up poor, like he did. I don't look back and spit on the ground of my old neighborhoods. J.D. Vance grew up poor, but not without the makings of those bootstraps. He had a grandma who cared. He had a grandpa with a union job. And yet here he is now, as a United States senator, attacking the things that enabled his grandparents to give him a chance to get out of Appalachia. He'd rather keep women just like his mother tied down in poverty, unable to get the health care they need, unable to escape physical abuse, unable to afford an education. J.D. Vance likes to talk about his roots, but he has lost touch with them. His roots to him are a political prop to blame the poor for being poor and to say that cutting the social contract is some kind of tough love when there's no love involved in his political ideology at all. Only opportunity for himself, only power only a willingness to kiss somebody's behind to become a running mate to someone that he once called America's Hitler. Or maybe he always admired Trump and was just lying to his friends. I wouldn't put it past him, given what we've learned about J.D. Vance so far.